Hey everybody and welcome back to Photon Photography. If this is your first time to the channel, I'm Jesse Laval, and I aim to make content that helps you learn those little skills that make you a little bit better of a photographer quickly and efficiently. Now today what I want to talk about is what it's like to mix different resolution footages in Premiere Pro and how you're going to ultimately up convert those to 4K so that you can have a nice 4K file to upload to YouTube. So let's get right into it. So here I have a project where I've shot with the RP and the R6. Now with the RP, I've shot 1080p resolution footage, and with the R6, I've shot 4K resolution footage. Now what I'm gonna do is show you my sequence settings real quick. So we go up here, we go to sequence, and go to sequence settings. So as you can see, we have a 1920 by 1080p resolution timeline, and we're also shooting this at 24 frames per second. So 24 frames per second, 1080p resolution, that's what we're ultimately editing the timeline in. Now the reason I choose to do this is I would rather take my 4K images and bring them down to the 1080p resolution. Then to scale my 1080p resolution images up to 4k because that results in soft images with my 1080p scenes where if I do it this way I can use the Premiere Pro software to up convert all of it to 4k after I'm done editing the entire project and I find that that comes out really really well and nobody has ever even known that I'm natively shooting some of my scenes at 1080p because Premiere Pro just does such a good job with up converting it to 4k. So you do want to make sure that you set your resolution size to 1920 to 1080. Now with Premiere Pro that usually happens with whatever the first clip is that you drop into your timeline but if you happen to drop a 4k resolution in first you can always go into these settings and change it after but you want to make sure that you have it at 1920 by 1080 24 frames a second if that's what you're choosing to make your timeline in and then you want to make sure that you are scaling your 4k resolution shots down to the 1080p resolution when we drop them into our timeline. So now that we know we want to be editing in a 1080p resolution and 24 frames a second if you're doing a talking head type of a shot like this what we want to do is go ahead and make our entire project and I've already got my whole project here this is an older episode that I made but like I said we've got 1080p scenes 4k scenes the 4k scenes are downscaled to the 1080p resolution so that way everything matches on my timeline here but what we're going to do is now show you what settings we're going to change in the export settings to ultimately get it to 4k resolution so let's go ahead and hit command M that's going to open up the export process and what we want to do is go to presets and we're going to go to high High quality 2160p. You click that and that's going to take your 1080p timeline. It's going to up convert everything to that 4k resolution that you want. Now we're not quite done yet. The other important thing that I always do is we're going to go into basic video settings and we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for VBR pass and we want to change VBR1 pass to VBR2 pass and that's very important because that's going to allow your computer to make two passes as it goes through here and it's going to allow your computer to assess which scenes might need a higher bit rate so that way you don't get any type of degradation to your image. So what I've found is that I can go as low as 10 on my target bit rate and then I usually set my maximum bitrate to 55. The lower you push these numbers, the smaller your file will become, but you're also going to risk losing some of your image quality. So like I said, when it comes to uploading 4K videos to YouTube, I have found that I can go as low as 10 with the target bitrate, maximum bitrate at 55, and everything has always come out perfectly that way for me. You could try to push it further and make it smaller, but you have to kind of play with it and see what works for you. So after you've set it to target bitrate of 10, maximum bitrate of 55, I then click use maximum render quality, and use previews. After you've done all of that, just go ahead and hit export. You're gonna make sure that you, of course, navigate over here and make sure that you set your export to whatever folder you want and you're gonna change it to whatever name you want that file to be named. But after you've done all of that, you export this out and you're going to have a 4K file ready to upload to YouTube. Now there's a couple of different reasons why it's important that you do use a 4K resolution when you upload to YouTube. The thing about YouTube is if you upload in 1080p resolution, it uses a lower codec to put your video up there. And that results in degradation to your image. That's where you see the pixelated, mushy video. If you upload in 4K, and I believe if you upload in 2K, it does the same thing, but I do it in 4K, so I know in 4K this works. It uses the higher end codec, and what that does is it just results in a much, much higher quality image on your YouTube channel. So I choose not to upload in 1080p resolution at all, just because of that codec issue. So that's something that really makes a big difference when you're ultimately trying to get the best possible quality footage on your YouTube channel. Anyway guys, I hope that this helped you out a little little bit. If it did, go below, subscribe, click the notification bell, help me help you make more videos like this, and I'll see you on my next video.